Hi. I want to share with you the Auto EV Diagnostic Box. Here, that diagnostic box is coupled up to a MS Ultra scan tool. The benefit of that is I can do high voltage battery testing and high voltage AC compressor testing on or off the vehicle. I don't need to go through the OBD2 connector. So if I go ahead and select high voltage battery test, the example we have is Kia. It'll come up with a couple little warning screens that we have to agree to just to keep us all safe. We'll say, okay, it's a USA model. It's a Kia Nero hybrid electric vehicle. It's a 2017. A little check screen to make sure we entered everything correctly. Now it's going to load the system data. It comes up and it tells us how to connect our cables to the low voltage side of the high voltage battery pack. So we've already done that. We'll say, okay. It's going to establish communication with the battery pack. I go ahead and I hit the battery pack information button. And the real benefit to a, being able to go directly to the BMS on the vehicle is it does not share all the information going through the OBD2 port. So here I can see that this particular battery pack is actually a, a bad battery pack. I've got two modules that are 100% depleted out of four. If I were to click on one of the modules, each one of those modules on this particular Kia has 16 individual cells. So I could determine how many total cells there are in the battery pack by multiplying in this condition 16 by four. If I determine I needed to replace one of those modules, I can hit up the module locations and it shows me which module is numbered numerically. So numbers three and four were the two that were depleted. If I determine I needed to order a high voltage battery pack from a dealership, if I hit battery pack information, this is the information that the dealership would be asking me for. And then the real benefit to this tool is this other live data. All of this data is data that is not shared amongst the data bus communication lines by going to the OBD2 connector under the dash. So if I had a code that just said high voltage circuit fault, I would have to then break out a whole bunch of meters and have a thorough understanding of how that high voltage battery pack works. But I would not have any data stream to go ahead and support my diagnostics. I see a wealth of information that I could never see without going directly to the BMS.